starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Boy, is Mom ever going to be surprised? Why don't you think of ways to surprise her that aren't so much hard work? Careful now. Don't spill any. <laughs> Have some lugging it all the way from the lake. Mom? Mom? You calling me, Jeff? Come here a minute, will you? Please. We've got something to show you. Oh, now you know. Jeff Gramps told it's you. It's lake water, Mom. You mean you carried those heavy buckets all the way up from the lake? Oh, bless your heart. I couldn't be more pleased. Thank you. Oh, I heard you say that you couldn't get your washing done because Gramps was worried about the well going dry. My pop's worried, too. He says it's the worst drought we ever had. Well, I'm, I'm sure it'll rain soon. Meanwhile, we'll get along all right if, we, if we're careful and don't waste the water. You mean like not taking baths? And not brushing teeth? All right, you self-sacrificing heroes. <laughs> Fill up the tub and I'll get the wash. Hmm. At least we'll have some clean clothes. <laughs> Hey, Jack, look at Lassie. And look at you. Wasted all that good water. Hi, girl. Don't you know that every drop of that's... Lassie! It's a trout, a big rainbow. And it's still alive. It sure is. Boy, isn't he a beauty? Well, how could she catch him? The lake's too deep. Yeah, and the stream's dried up. Lassie, the fish. Show us where you got the fish. <coughs> Atta, girl. Show us. Go on, show us. <coughs> hey, you ought to bring your pole just in case there's more. Lassie, we won't need a pole. Go on. She's going to the stream, all right. But she couldn't have found anything there. There'll be more fish stranded there. Come on, let's wait in after them. No way. Let's make something to trap them with. Gramps will help us. Come on, Lassie. We had fish to eat for a month. And then we went by the falls. It was dry, of course, but there was a big pothole there, too, and it was just full of rainbows. Gramps, you gotta come. You don't even need a pole, just a pitchfork, anything. Oh, is that the kind of fisherman you are? I thought fishing was supposed to be a sport. But the fish are going to die anyway, Mom, if the water keeps drying up. Why don't you try to save them? And not by putting them in my wash tub, either. There's still plenty of water in the lake, isn't there? Your mother's right, son. Everybody's entitled to them fish. We can't go and hog them all. Oh, Jenny, George Miller. Get me Doc Weaver, will you? Yeah, maybe he can get us some help. You go out and get a rain barrel and some buckets. How about letting me in on this, too? You know what the posters say. Conservation's everybody's business. <laughs> oh, yes, you too, girl. <laughs> well, there's a fish net in the closet, and uh, you can... Oh, hello, Doc. Yeah, George Miller. No, nothing needs doctrine. Put on your other hat. We got a problem for the fish and game warden. Maybe we ought to hold these out for dinner. Now, Dad. <laughs> well, come on, boys, up the lake. And hurry now, too. Why, Gramps? They have plenty of water, haven't they? Yeah, but you got to have air going through here. They suffocate being kept out of fresh water too long. Come on, boys. Hi, George. Hi. Helen. Hi, Gray. Like to meet Phil Potter. He's with the State Fish and Game. Hello. Glad to see you, Mr. Potter. Well, it's nice meeting you, Mr. Miller. Doc Weaver's been telling me about this lake of yours. The drought doesn't seem to have affected it much. Well, it's fed by some mighty nice little springs. I see. Think it would work, Phil? 
Well, we can plant a little at first, see how they do, and then... Plant what? George, how would you like some fighting steelheads and brook trout stocked right in here? Well, now... You, you mean the be... state's gonna stock our lake for us? Well, we've got the fish, young man. Looks like you've got the water. Oh, now, wouldn't that be wonderful? You know, there's nothing like good trout fishing. Well, except maybe eating them. <laughs> see what you started now, girl? <laughs> Fine. Well, if you want, you can put a sign down where your road joins the main one, or else we will. Sign? But all my friends know where the lake is. The well, sign's for the public, George. Now, wait a minute. You mean that everybody and his uncles come and traipse them through here, littering up my property and wandering through my fields? Well, after all, Mr. Miller, if the state does the stocking, it's paid for by the public's taxes. Well, them city folks can find other lakes to fish in. Oh, I don't think there'll be too many strangers, George. Why, there'll be too many. We've had enough fish conservation for one day. I'm running a farm, not a fishery. But, Gramps, if you let them stock our lake, well, then Porky make it sell worms. And we could even rent a raft and make lots of money. I don't believe it. You two boys ride in the back. Let me talk to your grandfather. What? I bet there are more fish in that tank trip than we could find in a hundred pools. Steelhead, too. I think you taught the boys a lot today. About what? Oh, about the importance of fish conservation and consideration to other people. And I was really very proud of you. thinking about supper, honey, you can stay and have some with us. Well, I think my mom wanted well, me Well, if you want to stay, Porky, uh, you can help uh, Jeff dig some angleworms. Worms? Well, you didn't think I was going to turn down that Mr. Potter, did you? You see, uh, conservation is, uh, uh, well, you know, uh, it's everybody's job. Oh, thanks, Mom. Jeff, now, you should thank your grandfather. You know, it was his idea. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Graham. Thanks, Mr. Miller. Worms, huh? Hey, are you kids joking, or is there really enough water around here to float a fish? There sure is. Best fishing you'll ever find. Miller Lake. It's not even on the map. Maybe that's why the fishing's so good. <laughs> why don't you try it? Why not? Okay, we'll take a couple of cans. Swell. I'll be 50 cents. All right. Thank you. Oh, what do you got, Ruth? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen fishing like this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> either. Hey, I'm afraid we're over the limit. No, oh, who's counting? We can use all we can get. There's plenty of room in the freezer at the restaurant. You know, if we keep on catching babies like this, I'll even put them on the menu. Are you serious? It's a little matter of tags that have to be on commercial fish. Well, is there any reason we can't use the tags for the fish we already bought? You know, frozen trout's a pretty expensive item, especially when you got the real thing right here for free. So, uh, you spend the next week holed up in these woods. I got a wife who needs a much better explanation. But we don't have to stay. I got plenty of hooks and a leader. So have you. We'll rig up a trot line. Well, what in the world's that? Well, it's a bunch of hooks strung on a single line. See, we can tie it here and anchor it out there. It'll be worth it. You know, if we can serve fish like this, we'll have everyone in Capital City showing up at trout dinners. Well, uh, you don't think it's too risky? Well, who'll see it? It's weighted. It's completely underwater. Come on, reel in. Give me a hand. I'll show you. <laughs> You better make a six can. Six? You don't have to buy that many, sir. It won't be open tomorrow morning, you know. 
Yeah, but you see, the, the fish are biting so good, and we lose a lot of bait, too. What are we arguing for? A dollar and a half is a dollar and a half. Yeah. Good, there you are. Okay, I'll just pick these. I'll see you. Boy, they must be pretty bad fishermen. One can ought to catch the limit. Yeah. Many as we get. Oh, we still got plenty. I'll feel better once we beat this up again and get out of here. Relax, you'll live longer. Well, look who's talking. Huh? You're losing as many as I am. I'm not losing them, I'm throwing them back in. They're too small to serve at the restaurant. Uh. Oops, sir. Don't be so jumpy. That's the road crew back there at the bend. The flagman told us we we're going to start blasting, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're losing some more. What's the matter with you? What do you make of it, Phil? I don't know yet, Doc. Far too many of them showing up dead like this. I've got to run a few tests, find out what's wrong. Could be some sort of contamination in the water, not enough oxygenation, weed growth. There's no point stocking a lake here if they're going to turn belly up. We'll have to close down the lake to fishing. Close the lake? Until we make sure that these fish aren't being poisoned by something and that they're safe to eat. The business was booming. Well, we might as well go home now. Just hope that Mr. Potter doesn't close us down for good. You want to come over to my place? We can play ball. Okay. Come on, Lassie. Lassie! Where'd she go to now? She sounds like she's over at the lake. She sounds like she could be in trouble, too. Come on! Easy, girl! I'm coming! like this anyway. See, those guys. Yeah, of course. No wonder they want all those worms. Fishing like this against the law. Boy, wait till the game warden finds out. Come on, let me pull this thing out of here. No, wait. Leave it in. Leave it and get a lot more fish killed off? Yeah, as a decoy. A decoy's a bird. Don't you see, Porky? They don't know we're on to them. If we leave it here, they'll come back. Then we can nab them dead to right. Come on, girl. Oh, Jenny. George Miller. Get me Sheriff Billings, will you? Let's get the fish and then get out of here. Oh, relax, relax. I still wish we could think of something better than this contraption. Well, it catches fish. Oh, yeah? Not so many this time. I think maybe the... Well, the current or something moved the float out there. Hey, wouldn't a, wouldn't a net or something be better? Why, Jack, you know that would be illegal. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> we should start blasting someplace else. Yeah. Here. Blast? That's it, of course. Why didn't I think of this before? Jack, do you want to know something? A stick of dynamite dropped out there, and we can have a freezer full of fish in one minute. Blow off a stick of dynamite in this lake, and all you'd have would be chowder. Oh, no, that's where you're wrong. It just stuns the fish. It's the concussion of the blast under the water that does it. Huh? Here, let's get this stuff in the box. We'll get all the fish we want in the morning. Here. One end is anchored out here, and the other is anchored out. 
nothing here. But it's got to be here. I saw it. <laughs> so did you, girl. Maybe you're right, but that isn't enough. Without any evidence. But that's what was killing off the fish. I see what you mean. If there was a trot line and the fish were hooked long enough, they'd drown. Are you sure you boys weren't so anxious to get the fishing back that, uh, well, you just sort of imagined that... Honest, Sheriff. Well, I just couldn't imagine all those hooks. Are you sure this is the right place? Yes, I'm sure, Gramps. Me too. Well, if you find it again, pull it in so we can all see it. Come on, George, I'll drive you back. Thanks. I told you we should have dragged it in, didn't I? I gotta get this float tied on. It's a waterproof fuse. Isn't it? Yeah, it's waterproof, but I want to make sure it goes off at the proper depth to do a good job. You keep an eye on them, girl. Stop them if they try anything. I'm gonna go tell Gramps. Are you sure it was dynamite? I ain't gonna get the sheriff out here on another wild goose chase, you know. Of course I'm sure, Gramps. Lassie's keeping an eye on him right now. And I don't want to leave her there too long. Okay. Okay. Hello, Jenny. George Miller. Say, let me talk to the sheriff, will you? Hurry up, it's important. Hello, Sheriff. This is George Miller again. Jeff says them fellas are back here again, and they, uh, they're just gonna... Jeff! Jeff! What's going on? Listen, tell the sheriff to get up the lake on the double and tell him to pick up Doc Weaver. Those fellows have got dynamite up there now. Dynamite? Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello, Sheriff. Ellen Miller. Dad wants you at the lake right away. On the double, he said. Yes, and pick up Doc Weaver. Dog. Drop it, you crazy dog! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Get him off! Get him off! Oh! Oh, my 